You're watching Unreal Ant Gaming. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You want to see me turn Super Saiyan? Or should I take it to the next level? I'm also the narrator, too. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, make sure and smash subscribe to Unreal Ant Gaming. <laughs>
can not only drain their life force and their energy subconsciously, but the fact that Moro seems to be getting stronger and stronger and stronger that not even the common Super Saiyan Blue can hold a candle to its power. In fact, it's even suggested that perhaps maybe it's required for Goku to use Ultra Instinct just to have the upper hand against Moro. Now, this situation could land us in one of many different predicaments because with the story having to expand itself, as of course we already know based on the overall narrative and the pacing, this story is most definitely going to stretch itself out going into 2020 and beyond. But the question is by the end, based on the pacing, based on the buildup, are we going to see a potential fusion if Goku and Vegeta fail? And if they don't fail, how are they going to capitalize in putting Moro down? Of course, Moro at first being someone that a lot of people had looked down upon, having to put into question as to what kind of a wizard Moro truly is and what kind of tricks he's hiding up his sleeve. And until now, we've seen firsthand just how easily Moro can simply thrash Goku and Vegeta along with Maris, the Daikaio, and anyone else thrown in his direction. As of course, on the previous video, we discussed the concept of the Z fighters not only having to battle against Sagambo, Shimoreka, 7-3, and Yumba, but we also discussed the hypothetical of what it would actually be like for Moro to come to Earth. So I don't think that fusion is going to be incorporated in this arc because what would be the point of Goku and Vegeta going through everything they're currently going through only to use the exact same thing that they have done prior? So I really don't see that being the case. However, if anyone out there is curious about what Beerus is doing, what Whis is doing, there is that chance that Bulma could communicate with Whis in having to ask for Beerus to come to Earth by offering him some food, but the likelihood of that happening is just as equal to Fusion, in which I don't see being relevant in this arc, at least not yet. However, there is that chance of Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku getting the job done himself, but this also raises so many questions as to how exactly Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku could evade Moro's absorption if Moro could subconsciously just take energy without the host even knowing as to what is going on, just as we've seen be done during Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 42, 43, and 44, when we saw Moro fight Goku and Vegeta, and as he was fighting them subconsciously, he was able to take their energy without them being able to know it. So can Mastered Ultra Instant Goku simply evade and counter Moro's absorption in a very unique and clever way to where Moro can't seem to lock onto Goku? But this also begs the question, what about Vegeta? What exactly is Vegeta going to do by using gigantism, by using multiple copies of himself, by using instant transmission? We've seen Goku use instant transmission before, so how exactly is this going to be any different? Is Vegeta going to use some form of gigantism plus copying himself by using instant transmission to throw Moro off his game? Or is Vegeta going to be the sole person responsible in bringing Moro down? I do believe that this is going to be a collected effort from everybody because unless the Z fighters and Goku and the Daikaio and Maris and Vegeta, unless they are the ones to defeat Sagambo and 7-3 and Shimoreka and Yumba, I could see a very scary situation coming about to where Moro kills them, takes their energy, and then uses that on himself and further getting stronger if the situation becomes desperate enough to where Moro seems to be losing because we've seen that be done before. Moro seems to keep his word when having to deal with other people, but I also feel as if if things get desperate enough, Moro's going to do everything and anything he can to remain and keep that position of power. So Mastered Ultra Instant Goku, I do believe, are their best chance, and if they don't end up doing that, then they're probably going to give us something out of the blue and something very unexpected, but if it's not going to be fusion, if it's not going to be the involvement of Beerus, if it's not going to be a means of an outside source, then I do believe that Mastered Ultra Instant Goku and Vegeta, perhaps maybe with the Daikaio, could get the job done, but let's not forget Again, the Dai Kaio does possess the Potara earrings, so there is always that chance that maybe fusion may be suggested if, of course, Vegeta and Goku are on the receiving end of an absolute loss in their attempts of stopping Moro again. And the most interesting thing is we don't know how strong Moro could potentially get, and it's very up in the air right now to really know for sure how strong Moro truly is, because with Goku training with Maris and Vegeta on planet Yardrat and having to take him over a week to get there, during that time, until of course they end up arriving on Earth, 
Moral by then could have consumed dozens of planets, dozens of life forms, and potentially get twice, three times, four times, ten times stronger than how he was before. So this is why Mastered Ultra Instant Goku, I think, really needs to be put into question because how else is Goku supposed to dodge Moro's absorption if Moro's absorption is done on a subconscious level? Moro's not really doing anything direct or unleashing any sort of direct attack that triggers someone in dodging something, so that's why it's most interesting to see what Mastered UI can do, especially when Moro's absorption comes from a very subconscious standpoint. But in the end, I would like to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you guys think that Mastered Ultra Instant Goku and Vegeta and the Daikaio and Maris and Gohan and Piccolo and everyone on Earth have the capabilities to do something in damaging, stopping, preventing, apprehending, or defeating Moro, or do you guys think that Moro is simply too broken that not even Mastered Ultra Instinct can defeat him? So, I wanted to know from you guys, would you guys rather prefer, and I want you guys to sit on this, do you guys want to see Beerus versus Moro, Vegito versus Moro, Gogeta versus Moro, or Mastered Ultra Instinct versus Moro? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Thank you all so much for watching once again. If, of course, you guys are new to this channel, then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload. Turn on the bell icon, guys. That way you guys can always be notified whenever I post a brand new video on the channel. Tune back in for more. Again, I think that this is most interesting because with Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter number 54 being released next month, we're going to find out what direction they're going to go in. Hopefully enough, we get to see more of Moro, but I think that this is a very grim situation for not only Goku and Vegeta, but they're going to have to come up with a specific strategy to put this dude down. So I want to get your thoughts down below. Thank you all so much for your time. Thank you all so much for watching. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody. Peace. And the quick little reminder before you guys go, if you guys are unaware, I do have a second gaming channel located down in the description box below. So be sure to head on over to Unreal Royale and hit that subscribe button along with turning on all notifications as to there, you guys will find all different kinds of gaming content that you will not get to find on Unreal and Gaming, titles and video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Z Legends, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai, Ichi 3, Minecraft, Blair Witch, and many other retro games on that channel. So if you guys are into gaming, then make sure you guys subscribe over on Unreal Royale. I want to thank you all so much for your time, and I'll catch you all in the next one. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unreal End Gaming. Also follow Unreal End Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god. The fuck's up, on? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I'm the biggest Unreal Ed gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> K -k -k -k